hours after their guests arrived. Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. Bye, Dr. Jekyll. No, 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 no. Oh. Hello, Mr. Hyde. <laughs> well, Sabrina's dead now. God. Okay. Where's the next lieutenant? True. I don't see any signs of a lieutenant anywhere. You think they may have bailed on us? I'm right here, dearie. There's some mad scientist walks in, and I'm thinking, hey, we'd be great to team up because I'm Frankenstein, mad scientist. We go great together. But then, uh, he is not on our side. But we figure out he has two gems, and he wants to exchange it for life. But first we have to go find, like, ten scraps of parts so he can upgrade his electric chair. I mean, who does that? <sighs> and pieces. Uh, he said they're hidden in plain sight. Wait a minute. Plain? Plain sight. Smart person I am, I figure out he was giving us a riddle. And I'm like, what the heck is plain? <sighs> Maybe you're a genius. Maybe a color. What is a boring plain color can't be a color that's mixed with something because that that's unique so what colors can't be mixed with anything colors i can think of is black white and brown they can't be mixed with anything this whole place is brown it'll take forever to are you serious right now it was easier son said than done i mean that was easier done than said I mean, I just literally just found a piece. Now that we know that they're pretty easy to find, I say we go find these 10 parts. So let's go. Cynthia, come on. I'm gonna get out of this house with me and my wife. So I'm gonna try my hardest. So hard. <sighs> and take a break. You already know that the group isn't gonna vote for you. I got voted into a challenge last time. I don't I don't think that the whole group isn't gonna vote for me. That was only because Sabrina convinced most people to vote for you. Trust me, it's not gonna happen. And even if it does, I got your back. I even volunteer myself into a challenge so you don't have to do it. You mean that? Yes from the bottom of my heart. I mean that. Wait. I found one on the seat. Something brown. Look for something brown. Books. Books. Okay, now books. Yeah, but the pieces are bigger than, you know, two books. I'm talking about they could be in a bookcase. Stupid. <gasps> Speak of the devil. I got one. I'm an engineer. I know what these parts look like. You think I haven't put them together before? Oh, please. Easy. Anyone look behind the chair? No, no one's looked behind the chair, but there's nothing. Oh, guys. I think there's a part in the head jar. Oh. Who puts a part? in a head jar. Oops, looks like I just misplaced my part in a jar with a head in it. I mean, who does that? Just reach in the jar and get the part. Which, by the way, yes, I did touch the head. That's been in there for who knows how long. Easy, that's disgusting. Ew, easy, stop. Gotta do what you gotta do. Evening, if you have to stick your hand in a jar with a head in it. So me and the other groups have found a total of eight parts. All that we need is two more, and we can finally give these ten parts to the little mad scientist. 
so we can kill someone to get two gems. It's even more worth it now. And I'm really excited, because after this, we only need one more gem. Lizzie comes in with another part, and we thank her so much, because we were starting to have troubles finding them. And I feel like I'm trusting Lizzie now. She's helping us, and I think her intentions were totally wrong. I think we kind of didn't trust her at the beginning, because, you know, daughter of vampires, super sketchy. But now I think her intentions are to be our protector and to help us, and I thank her for that. Guys, I got another one. It was upstairs. Oh, they're probably in the voting room. So, the helpful person that I am, I find the very last part. And we finally get to call this mad scientist for some freak show of a time. And we have to vote one life for two gems. But luckily, it's even more worth it because it's for two gems. And after this, we only need one more which means only two more lives have to go so we can get out of here, finally. <sighs> this has been a long and rough trip, but we can make it through this. And I'm so excited to finally go home. You finally found the parts. Thank you. Now, well, I get these babies put together to upgrade my chair. Vote one life to be taken for two gems since you have helped me greatly. Now then. Good luck. So, who are we voting for as life we can be taken? Uh, I feel like... Chris. <sighs> what? Why? Why Chris? I don't know. I just feel like he's been in the very back lately, and he hasn't been meeting my expectations on what I'd like him to do. So I just think he's the least helpful person in the group compared to everyone else, and he's just got to go. I mean, we don't have time for useless people here. Okay, I guess Chris it is. No matter how much I hate it, I guess I have to. I absolutely hate voting for Chris. I feel like this is going to hit me the hardest if he dies, but... We have to vote for somebody if we want to get out of this house. Finally. Now, who do you think we're voting for? What about Lizzie? What, you mean vote for Lizzie? No. I mean, what about Lizzie? She's in, she's right there. What? Lizzie, come on, join us. I'm technically not allowed to vote. Come on. Let's come over here. Okay, who do we vote? I don't know. Lizzie? Uh, I don't know. Because I was thinking Jesse. <gasps> Jesse? Why? Because she's not helping. And I don't blame Cynthia for not helping. Because, you know, she's carrying an unborn child. But I feel like Jesse needs to step up his, his game if he wants to get out of this house. So I'm voting for Jesse. That's really bad. But if I want to get out of here, I guess I have to. Lizzie, how about you? I'm technically not allowed to vote. So I won't. Very well then. I 
voted in by myself, Blake, because I don't really, I'm not really 100% good about Blake ever since he came back from the spider thing challenge after Brody was killed. Uh, he just, he just always had that bad feeling. But ever since he came back, I not really felt good being around him. So I don't know if he was intentionally going after Brody, but he's gotta go. Plus he's kind of creepy. We are friends with everybody here, but we decided to vote for Easy Way Out. And the reason is I just, we just feel like he hasn't been helping as much as the other group. I mean, there is some useless people like Blake and Chris, but we feel like the most useless is Easy Way Out. So we just decided to go for him, but we're friends with everybody, and I really feel bad about voting for him, but if me and Cynthia want to get out of here, we have to get those gems one way or another. Votes. One life shall be taken this time, just like Baron. The person going into the challenge is... in the chair so we can start the process. Wait! What do we have here? Cynthia? Oh, let us start the process. Wait! Huh? What do we have here? Liliana? I volunteer. Hmm. Interesting. Wait, what? Liliana, no. You can't. The decision is final. I can feel your mystical energy. Get off the chair. Liliana, you can't. Get out of the cellar. Now then, mystic. Why don't we start the process? right now. Liliana just sacrificed herself for Jesse. I, I, I don't know what to say. Wait, guys. There's only, there's only one missing. Last one. Before we can leave this place forever. 